Huh? 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 Yeah. Taking you know up on it. You know your stuff. Oh, my what steering wheel's always right it. in the way. No, I can't bother to lower it just to what start vlogging. Oh, just stop vlogging. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm having a little look at our house, are they? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Um, I know this is a weird time to start a vlog in the car of a Friday evening, but, oh, why are you starting that? I don't start that, <laughs> oh. Um, but we're just about to head out to look at tiles for our ensuite that we're starting, well, that you've started on this week, haven't you? Mm -hmm. I'm with Lou. Um, covered in paint, absolutely smothered in paint. Um, but yeah, we're just heading out to look at tiles and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. I said, it, I said, I thought it'd be quite interesting to vlog. You said you couldn't think of anything worse than watching someone looking at tiles. Well, it's not top of my list. <laughs> <laughs> but then you wouldn't watch any of my videos anyway, would you? Hey? Um, Nothing in it for me. No, I no. live with you. No. Um, but yeah, so we're heading there now. We're going to look in B&Q and Wix and... I think that's about it. There's another tile place along... Yeah, whether that be open or not. Though. Oh yeah, it is literally six o'clock. This is how we spend our, fri our Friday evenings. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you scream. By the way, these are the tiles that we've got in our living room. Um, but how different do they look colour wise in here and on that picture than what they do? This is what they looked like when I ordered them. They're kind of like a beigey. Don't you think in here, Lou, they look like a beige? Like an off kind of creamy grey beige. The purple don't come out. No, the, the, whereas when they're down in our in our living room, I've, they've got a real kind of like lilac-y hint to them, which I don't like. What, you looking at bathroom? Can you like that? Um, yeah, they're okay, quite simple. Um, what do you want? But yeah, no, I just wanted to show you in case, because some people ask where they're from. This is where they're from. They are in the colour Seattle cloud. But be warned that sometimes they, they look a little bit, a little bit lilac-y. We could go marble like our bathroom at the moment but I'm not keen on not keen on them they look a bit cheap and also yeah I feel like we've done marble what are they no again they look well they're, they're you say no to marble then you pull those out that look very similar but not as nice I was thinking something more like see I quite like I quite like how something like this would look in a herringbone pattern. How do you feel about doing herringbone? In the shower? In the shower, I don't mind. It's on the angle, isn't it? So herringbone is when you've got one like this. Oh, my camera's off. <laughs> yeah, like that. How do you feel about doing that inside the shower? Bit much effort? That for an ensuite. Like, it sounds like a lot of, like a lot of But I was thinking something like pattern tiles on the floor and then having bone in the shower. Or does that sound a bit too they're, they're similar to what we've got in our ensuite now, but obviously more of a more of a selection. So are these ones you like, Lou? I don't think so, no. Oh. I like these ones. Those, what colour are they? Like white? Oh, just an off-white. Just an off-white. Just an off-white. Oh yeah, they do, they are called York White. Yeah, but it'll, they'll look, they'd look nice on a white background, they just like... Do you not think it'd just be all a bit white? White no, no, tiles? We'll go for the same kind. White, not white obviously, wall. Obviously with the... I'm not sure, mate, I'm not sure. They're not, they're not a shiny one, they're not a shiny tile. Yeah, but even worse, in, just... In, especially in the, in the they're shower just, they're gonna look... cubicle. Because mm. it'll all be wet and slick. I don't want, like, you know, like, on our... I'm not parties, sure. <laughs> Love having a look, look at the kitchen upstairs in Wicks. I don't like handleless when it's shaker style. I feel like the shaker looks nice with it's a just, handle. It's just a, this, this little gap they put around there. 
Yeah, but I feel like they look like they need a handle because of the style of them. It's clever though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's clever. But I think it would look nicer with a nice handle on it. Yeah, yeah, maybe that one. This one is pretty square. Yeah. Oh, I do like it. Yeah, I was going to say, I do like I do like these big pull-out drawers. Very handy. But they're not cheap. No. Really not a fan of a sparkling worktop. The green looks quite nice, actually. With the brass, not that I'd go for it. But it is quite nice, doesn't it? Again, that underman sink is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, again, I'm the not back, keen on the, the worktop though. The, the I flecky worktop. That's the um, that stuff, isn't it? Yeah, like what we've got, like the composite. Just gonna have a look at the other two kitchens around here. Oh, this, this one here, I remember we looked, they haven't changed this in ages. This has been like this for about two years because we looked at this one when we got our kitchen and I was really tempted to go for dark at the bottom and light at the top because this kind of gave me inspo, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm not, I'm not. What do you think, do you remember this one we looked at when, before we did our kitchen? Yeah, a weird. Yeah. I like it, but I feel like it's a bit, something not quite, something a little bit amiss about it. I like it. I feel a bit busy with that color, then the tiles, then those, and everything going on, it's all a bit. Where it's gonna be going. What we got in here then? What do you reckon? Fridge or cupboard? Oh, it's those pull-out things again. Lovely. Oh, nice. Smooth. Nice. Yeah, really handy. This is the worktop. This one here is the one that we've got in our kitchen. It's called Marmo Bianco and it's called Apollo Slab Tech. It's like a kind of composite-ish material, um, but looks like marble. And then this white Carrera marble one, I think it's that one, is what we've got in our utility room. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's nice. Hmm? Yeah, if we don't keep the one we've got. I'm pretty sure that this is the floor that we've got in our house at the moment in the hallway. Um, and it's currently on offer for £10 per square metre, which is really good. I think it's a really nice kind of in between wood and grey. Like it's not too grey, but it's just, yeah, I like it. We are in B&Q now and there isn't that much option in here but I just spotted these ones and the grey are so similar to what we've got in our bathroom but like a smaller version if I just put my hand next to it you can see that they're like tiny little like each row of tiles. Are you joking? You like that? Oh gosh no way. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, they're really tiny and um, each each tile is about this size. How cool are these? They're like the ones that we've got on our ensuite, but... It's like someone's taking a picture of them. Yeah, and made it smaller. Yeah, collage. They're quite nice, aren't they? Is that what you're thinking now? What, round the, round the shower? No, I'm just looking, I'm just looking. Yeah, get them. Get them. Get them. I'm just looking. No decisions will be made just yet. I also quite like these white these little white ones. Oh, yeah. They're also similar to. They're not the same as I was just looking at, but they're also similar to our to our ensuite ones. Nice, bit too similar though. We don't want exactly the same again. Oh look, there's even tinier ones up here. Look how tiny they are. These like tiny little mosaic ones. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty. You had enough? No, just that. <laughs> mosaics don't start. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a nice bumpy left there. Yeah, they're not bad. A bit different. Uh, I do actually quite, I don't mind them. I can't work out if I like them or not. I like them. I like that one as well. No, no I don't think I do like them. The more I look at them. 
At first, from a distance, I, I thought they were quite nice. Pretty basic around the, around the um, Now we are just looking at runners for the hallway. Quite like this one. Also quite like the look of that one at the bottom. And the, this one also comes in like a natural colour as well. <laughs> we're in here with our shoes off, just trying out the rug. We are going to buy this one. <laughs> But Lou was like, oh, feel it on your bare feet. It's really like lovely and wobbly. Um, but these are only £35 each. 35 which I thought was really good. So we're going to get two for the hallway. Good morning. It is Wednesday today. Um, so it's been a good few days since I last spoke to you, which was when we were in B&Q. Well, B&Q and Wits looking for tiles. Um, not the most successful trip. We didn't get any tiles. Although I did get two of those rugs that you may even be able to, no, you won't be able to see it from here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, yeah, got two of those for the hallway. Um, tile, I'm still on the hunt for tiles. I've ordered some samples. In fact, I've just spent the last 20 minutes looking at 10 whitey gray tile samples that all look pretty identical, um, trying to like compare them and, and decide which ones to go for. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, but I think, I think I have finally decided on which ones to go for. Um, but yeah, I'll show you. Um, as you can see, I have a little stack of Amazon boxes here behind me, which I'm about to unbox, which is why I picked up my camera, because I thought, I will do that on camera, unbox them with you guys. Um, and what else was I going to say? I've gone blank now. I'll show you my outfit. I have got on the most comfortable knitted jumper dress today. Um, I've actually got it on with slippers, and it is so like slouchy and loose and comfortable to wear around the house. But I did wear it out for dinner the other night as well. I'll show you, I'll insert a little picture of it. Um, but I wore it out with like a black bag and black heels. And it's the most like versatile piece. I feel like it looked nice dressed up, but it's also just perfect for like slouching around the house. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing today with my slippers. Um, and then jewelry, I have just gotten these tiny, I'm not actually sure if they're gonna show up on camera, tiny little hoops from Majuri. And then these necklaces, which are also from a jewelry, which I have not taken off since I got them, I don't think. Um, if you can hear a bit of bashing in the background, by the way, Lou is off work today and he is tinkering around in, there he goes, tinkering around in the bathroom, the ensuite bathroom that we're looking for tiles for. In fact, these are the tile samples that I've been looking at today. So how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten that look very similar. Um, well, apart from these, these don't look similar, but these were the ones that I originally loved and was like set on having. And then when I showed them to Lou, he was like, oh, mate, do we really have to do something that complicated in the spare ensuite bathroom? Like if it was our bathroom, he was like, I'd be happy to do it. But they're basically, these tiles, they look like this, but they're like about this long and then they go in both ends. I'll insert a picture of them so you can see. All of these samples are from Tile Giant. So if you spot any like that you actually like the look of, you can just note the code number on it. <laughs> um, but these I really liked and I thought they'd be really nice in the shower, but I thought it was a fair point. Like it's not like it's our main bathroom or our, in our en suite that we're gonna go be going in and out of every day. So. As much as I loved them, I thought I won't make Lou do complicated tiling. Um, so I think, I've lost which ones we're going for now. I think it's these ones that we're going to go for. I'm pretty sure that it's these ones. So they're kind of like, almost like a slightly mottled pale gray. Um, I do like the look of marble, but we've got marble ones in uh, own in like the main bathroom so I thought that these would just be nice and easy Lou didn't want anything too complicated to work with and yeah quite like the look of these um some of them were a little bit darker these one these two are glossy which again I quite liked those but I thought well I just thought we'd go with these They're a little bit yeah just a little bit more simple um and so these I think are the ones I'm going to order today just quickly propped you up on a tile, just to quickly show you a few bits that arrived this morning from Bare Minerals. Um, this is the original, by the way, if you can hear that background noise, Lou is out in the garden cutting something with his disc cutter. Maybe I'll wait actually for it to stop because it is quite loud. 
I love him being at home when like, when I'm here, it's nice having him around, but there's always noise. If he's here, he's always doing something that involves a lot of noise, which is fine, but when I'm trying to vlog, not ideal. Well, it wouldn't be, it would be much quicker than that, wouldn't it be? Snap, snap. Yeah. Why? Why would you have to have done it 200 times? I don't think it would have been 24. 100%. Yeah, fair enough. 100 cuts. Yeah, well, we haven't ordered them, have we? 100 cuts. Yeah, well, we haven't ordered them, have we? The, 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 the yes, well, uh, you vetoed the tiles that I like. You, you vetoed, been, vetoed them. You would have been doing your nut, you would have been like, oh. I was just complaining. I was just complaining about your noise. I said I love having you around, but you're bloody noisy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's why we're not having these ones. Basically, <laughs> too much effort. Um, anyway, I was just about to say that yeah, this is this arrived the Bare Minerals Foundation. It's called the Original Liquid Mineral Foundation in the shade golden beige. I'd already done my makeup this morning, so I couldn't try it out this morning. But I am going to try it tomorrow, and then I will probably put a picture up on my Instagram because this vlog will probably be, be wrapped up by then. Um, but yeah, I'll try it out tomorrow morning and report back on my Instagram stories. And then, oh, and then they also sent out a concealer, liquid mineral concealer in the shade Light 2N and like a little concealer brush. This isn't, the, this isn't the type of brush I would usually use for concealer. I prefer something a bit more that I can like buff in with, but like a little flat concealer brush. And then this foundation brush that looks really nice. Um, and then I also got a few blushes from Diego Della Palma this morning as well, which I was just looking at this one here. It looks super like bright pink, but I feel like these, like this, this kind of colour of black blush is quite deceiving. Like you'd be put off thinking it's a bit too much, but when you put just a tiny bit in on, it gives a really lovely, lovely flush of colour. So again, I think I'll try that one out tomorrow. Um, and then there was another one that I liked the look of as well. Which one was it? Not that, uh, well no, I do like that one, but it looks more like a bronzer. Can you see, it's kind of like a bit more like, actually I do really like that. That's in the shade two, uh, 26. That'd be really nice sort of blushy bronze when you just want a quick, easy makeup and you kind of want the best of both worlds. Um, and then this one, is this is the one that i thought was really lovely um it's in the shade 29 and it's very it's actually it's a little bit cool a little bit of a cool pink i prefer something warmer but quite subtle so yeah those three just arrived from um, diego della palma and they are their powder blushes i think they're a new release a new powder blush and they come with like a little little brush although i never really find these to be that that good although I suppose for, for um like a compact they're quite handy um anyway I am going to make myself a drink and then we'll get into the Amazon packages this is how the runner looks in the hallway we do still need Lou when are we going to sort this trim out between the living room and the hallway um I will borrow my dad's vest or yeah we do still need to sort well, that I'm trim gonna, out when I put the trim on I have to take the bottom of the doors off Oh, uh, okay, so it's like a bigger job, which is why we've been putting it off. I knew there was a reason yeah, we've been putting it off. Get your maroon, cool. get your maroon sock out of my shot. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we've got one that's here and then another one around the corner in the hallway as well, which I won't show you because Lou's got loads of like tools stacked around there at the moment. I've ordered a few bits from Amazon Fashion. I'm going to start off with this one on the top because I'm pretty sure I know what's going to be in here and it is definitely the least exciting thing that I've ordered. Um, so, let's get into this one first. But, oh no, actually, actually it isn't what I was expecting. I was expecting some socks. Because <laughs> I ordered some trainer socks, but they must be in this big package here. Um, but this is a little Calvin Klein crop top that I ordered. Um, I have already got a gray Calvin Klein crop top, but it has just, I've had it for a good few years now and it's just started to rip at the top. So I saw these on offer um, on Amazon Fashion and ordered a gray one. I do need to order, I might order the matching um, 
thongs as well, but I don't tend to wear the thongs as much. I tend to just wear these with like seam free underwear. Um, but these were like less than, I think they're about 19 pounds. They're normally over 30 pounds. So the thongs were also on offer as well. I think there was like a pack of three for under 20 pounds. They were really good, really good offers. Calvin Klein, Levi's, everything, like lots of brands are always um, reduced on Amazon fashion. So it's always good to check there. In here, Oh, I forgot I ordered these. <laughs> okay, now this is definitely the least exciting purchase. Um, some Rita filters. <laughs> okay, so everything is in this big box. Um, but yeah, I just I just ordered some replacement Rita filters. I the water that we've got where we live is always really like it's just not very nice water. It makes the kettle go really lime scaly and i'm always buying buying like big bottles of water and then obviously that's really bad like lots of plastic bad for the environment so i thought Brita filter is the best option um but yeah so i ordered some spare ones of them anyway let's get into the real deal yeah all of the good stuff is in here um so i'm gonna start off with the boring socks just to get those out of the way i ordered hello <laughs> um I ordered, well actually you'll be quite pleased about these, Lou. Yeah, what's that? I ordered a 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 pairs of trainer socks. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Well, I thought that we always go through these, don't we? Mm. Go through, but you know what I mean, they're always kind of like just something that I'm always sort of rummaging for in my sock drawer and I've never got enough, enough of. Um, oh, God. No, honestly, I'm okay, thank you. I'm gonna have a little white submarine though. No, I'm alright. I'm okay. Honestly, I'm alright. Um, but yeah, it was they were on offer. 12 pairs for under £10. I can't remember how much it was, but it was a good it was it was good enough to order them. So you get one black, one white, and one grey. And they look like a good like a good shape as well because sometimes when they're too low and they've got that rubber bit on the back um they slip down don't they and they're really annoying your ones with the rubber bit on the back are really annoying so i like them to be a little bit more a little bit larger but all of those very uninspiring purchase next up i'm going to go into one of these because there's a few a few packages in the package um oh okay this and actually, oh no, actually this isn't what I thought it was going to be. Nothing's what I thought it was. Um, this I just thought was really, really cute. It's just a simple blue and white striped jumper. It is so soft. Um, and I just thought it would be really lovely for layering in autumn, winter. I want to actually introduce, like I love neutrals, but I don't wear enough navy. So I want to introduce some more like navy kind of neutral outfits into my wardrobe. Um, I always think it's like a really nice, like soft alternative to black. So I thought that this was just really nice and would be lovely with a blazer and jeans in the autumn. And again, really good price. I think it was about 20 pounds, super soft. Um, it feels really lovely quality actually. It's in like a fine stretchy knit. I, I will try the clothes on and show you how they look on um, afterwards. And so I think that that has reminded me what this one is, because this is what I thought that was, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, so actually, I ordered this in the light blue because they didn't have my size in the navy. Um, but I ordered this because, so this is just a very simple fine knit jumper. And if you saw my, oh, it does feel nice. Um, if you saw my, Hang on, check I haven't got lipstick on my teeth. The only thing with wearing my Invisalign um, when I'm filming and I've got lipstick on is the lipstick always goes on the Invisalign because they're a little bit. So yeah, if I've, had, if I've had lipstick on my teeth throughout this bit, then please try and ignore it. Anyway, I ordered this fine knit jumper from Amazon because when I was filming my video, my top, my 10 autumn wardrobe staples video last week, I mentioned my gorgeous like cashmere jumpers and I said that as a really, these looked like a really good alternative. Amazon fashion, I think they're about 16, 17 pounds and I said that they were a really good like affordable option if you didn't want to spend the money on cashmere. And then I thought actually I might as well put my money where my mouth is 
and try them out and see if they are as good. So they've got them in every, like loads and loads of different colors, but I thought the pale blue was really lovely. So anyway, enough rambling about one jumper. I will try it on and then I'll chat about it when it's on um, and see how it is. Oh yes. So this is one of the pieces that I'm most intrigued, excited about. Um, I ordered a pair of black straight leg Levi jeans and you guys will know that I've got my like blue Levi's I got from Amazon Fashion actually a little while ago love them love them such a great pair of jeans um, and I was thinking actually I haven't got like a proper black black pair of straight leg jeans um, I've got black skinny jeans but I haven't got any like black straight leg jeans and I thought that well they're just a really great um, addition to an autumn wardrobe so I ordered these in the same size as I've got my blue ones which is a 26 28 plain black straight leg um, I will see how they look on next up is a jumper dress I really like the color of that I think the color is gorgeous it's so tricky to tell the style of it when it's off because it's like quite a quite a sort of wrap over style it's, it's tricky to tell what's going to look like on but it does come with a tie as well and I actually ordered this because I thought it was really similar to my jump dress. Again, the one that I showed in the um, 10 autumn wardrobe staples video that lots of you loved and it's sold out now. Um, I thought it was really similar to that. And I thought that um, I'm hoping to try and film a video on like jump dresses for autumn winter. And I thought that this would be a really great one. I thought that a lot of you would love the look of this. Okay, next up is a gilet. Um, and, oh, that's perfect really like quite a lightweight gilet I thought this would be perfect for like this time of year um just going on walks when you don't want anything too like it's too warm for a proper like padded jacket um but this was just like a nice lightweight one that you can just pop on over the over the top of a long sleeve t-shirt um really comfortable but actually looks quite nice as well I feel like this just would look nice with like I said long sleeve top and leggings and boots or trainers um, just one of those pieces that's a really easy throw on item and it has pockets as well and I like the fact that it's quilted um, and it also comes in a few different colours as well so I will leave the black it comes in a lovely um, like a khaki green which I was very tempted by but I thought black would probably go with more but the green is lovely as well next up is this gorgeous midi skirt and I don't actually have many like skirts that I wear in the autumn winter um but i got one like this last year in black and i loved it i loved how it looked with boots underneath and like a roll neck tucked in um with a blazer it just sort of a really nice kind of like nice wardrobe staple and i saw that they had this on amazon fashion in cream and i thought it was gorgeous and it says on here that it's supposed to be 75 pounds gbp 75 pounds i'm sure i didn't pay i think i paid less than half for it less than half of that for it and then the final couple of pieces that i ordered from amazon fashion first of all is just a very simple oh was this a... i feel like i thought i just ordered the top but i'm not complaining so first of all i thought i just ordered the top on its own but it's obviously part of a thermal set i thought it was like just a plain black long sleeve thermal top but it must be like a thermal top and leggings as well, which I mean even better because these feel so soft. Oh, do you know what? They, this with that and then the gilet over the top is like the perfect cozy outfit. But sticking with cozy clothes, the final piece that I ordered from Amazon Fashion is a pair of joggers. Um, and again, just really great wardrobe state. Oh, they look they look quite wide um i think that they might be a little bit too big annoyingly what size did i order i ordered a small but they look quite wide for a small um but i thought the color of them was gorgeous they're in like a pale beige and this is just the like i just wear joggers so much in autumn winter just like cozy super soft and fleecy on the inside um and i think they were about 12 pounds which i thought was a really great price okay so as usual i've come out into the hallway to try some bits on because it's always much brighter out here it's like the best best lighting for trying bits on um so 
First of all, I have popped on this navy stripe jumper and I am a fan. I think the fit of it and the fabric feel lovely. Like I'm really impressed with the quality of it. Um, yeah, it feels really lovely on. I have just popped on with some white jeans as this is kind of like how I would wear it as like a transitional outfit while it's still still kind of like summery outside. Like weather, weather doesn't really know what it's doing at the moment. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I think it works like this with jeans, trainers, sandals. Just popped my necklaces over the top of it and rolled the sleeves up. But if I just shimmy the sleeve down, you can see really good sleeve length. Love the big cuffs. Um, yeah, really nice. It's soft, it's comfortable, it is a win. Next up is the blue fine knit jumper. And again, really impressed with this. The quality feels lovely, especially considering the price. Um, I mean, obviously it isn't as soft as cashmere, but it does feel soft, it's not itchy, it fits nicely, like the neckline's nice, the way it fits on the shoulders is nice. Um, sometimes with this style of jumper, you can really tell like the price by looking at them, but I really don't think you can tell with this. I think it feels lovely quality. I think the fact that it comes in loads of different colours, if you're looking for great little basics for autumn, winter, but you don't want to spend too much on them and you want a few different colour options, then really do recommend these. Soft, comfortable, um, yeah, loads of colours. Like they've got like pale pink, blue, red, green, yeah, I mean, if, I think they had pretty much every colour. Okay, I've just quickly popped on the Calvin Klein crop top just to show you the fit of it on um, because I, like I said, I ordered it in a size medium. I'm usually a 32B and as you can see, it is quite fitted, like it's, it does come up small. Um, so just bear that in mind. I haven't got like a bra on or anything with it. I'm a 32B and it's very like, very push-up-y. Um, so if in doubt, I would always recommend sizing up in Calvin Klein, even for the thongs as well. I always I always order a size medium for the thongs too. And then this is how the joggers look on. And these actually fit better than I thought they were going to when they were off. They clearly aren't as wide as I thought they were, or I'm wider than I think I am. Um, but they, like, they have got an adjustable waist, so I just pulled them in a little bit on the waist and they fit perfectly. They're quite a slim leg as well, which I didn't expect them to be because they do have an option of slim leg or regular, and these were the regular, but they're a really nice fit on the leg. They're not too baggy. They're a nice flattering shape. They're very, very soft. Um, and again, they come in lots of colors as well. So I've just popped the black Levi's jeans on with some black ankle boots and a t-shirt and a blazer, just because I, I tried them on on their own, first of all, and I kind of needed to put them together with an outfit so I could really sort of work out how I felt about them. Um, so, I like the fact that they're very black. I think it makes a nice change from like the washed black jeans that I tend to go for in autumn, winter. Um, they fit really well. They're a nice fit on the waist and on the hips and on the bum. Lengthwise, I don't know whether or not I need to have them slightly shorter. I can't work out how I feel about where they finish. Um, I think it's because I'm used to wearing like skinny jeans when I'm wearing ankle boots. Sorry, the lighting's gone a bit funny. Um, that's better. Um, yeah, I think it's because I'm used to wearing skinny jeans, so it just feels a little bit weird with them f finishing just above the boots. But they are a really nice pair of jeans. Um, they're in a slightly softer denim to my other Levi's in the same fit. I'll insert a picture of my other ones, the ones I mean, in case, in case you don't know which ones I mean. Um, but yeah, love them in that wash. And I feel like they're a slightly different fit. I feel like they're slightly more tapered at the bottom. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure on them. Let me know what you think of these. Okay, so I just checked my order to see whether or not I ordered a top or a full set. And on the order it does just say a thermal top, but obviously it has come as a full set. So I will leave the exact link I ordered through below and then hopefully if you, if you want the whole set, hopefully when you order that link then you will get the same as what I got. Um, but yeah, definitely just ordered one thermal top, so bonus. Uh, but yeah, this is how the set looks on. I have just put it on together with slippers because this is how I will be wearing it at home in the winter when you want something cozy, but still kind of like, I don't know, I think because it's figure hugging, it still feels quite flattering on. Um, the top is really lovely, really nice fit, kind of nice, very fitted. Um, and leggings, just great pair of black leggings. They're not, like, they are, they're not see-through, but, like, let me try and show you. They're, hang on, can you see? 
they're like a little bit, a little bit see-through. Um, not see-through, but you know what I mean, they're not the thickest. But for me, like when I'd be, I'd be wearing them at home anyway, so it wouldn't bother me too much. And I guess perhaps they're designed to be worn underneath clothes as well as an extra layer. And then I've just popped the quilted gilet over the top and this is perfect, like it's exactly what I was hoping it would be. It's really lightweight and comfortable, but I ordered it in a small and I think I'm gonna have to size down to an extra small because it is quite, like there is a lot of excess. You can see it's quite baggy under my armpits, which is fine, like if I wanted to wear chunky knitwear underneath it, but that's not really what I got it for. I got it to wear with kind of long sleeve tops like this in the autumn and then come into winter I'd wear something thicker than this any anyway. So yeah, really love the style of it, but I do think I'm gonna size down. This looks so much better on than I thought it was going to. Um, the shape of it is so much nicer on. When it was off, it looked a little bit odd and I thought it, I thought it might be a bit high and it just looked a bit of a funny shape, but now it's on, I love it. In fact, so much so, I feel like it may even be nicer than my and other stories one um yeah just think it's a really nice shape i think the color of it is perfect as well it's like a really nice warm like not too warm but like a nice tone of neutral um yeah it's got this kind of like it's quite baggy on the top half um slightly like bat wingy style sleeves and then really fitted on the bottom with a little bit of a slit up either side um i've just popped it on with heels and i think it works quite well with heels if you wanted to wear it as workwear um but then i also think it would look quite cute with flats with boots and maybe a blazer over the top yeah really nice piece oh and also i feel like because of the shape of it you could pull it off your shoulders and wear it like as an off the shoulder dress as well I feel like it could work like that. And then last but not least is this gorgeous cream skirt. And I feel like this may be one of my favorite pieces that I ordered and I wasn't expecting it to be. I was a little bit unsure about it when I ordered it, uh, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I have just styled it with a chunky sleeveless cream roll neck and heels, just because these were the closest heels. I would probably wear it like this, maybe with some um, boots underneath it. Uh, but yeah, I really like how it looks with the chunky cream roll neck. I think it's such a gorgeous, like it looks like a really lovely kind of classy autumn winter outfit. Um, it fits perfectly, it's got an elasticated waist, so I've just tucked the bottom of the jumper into the waist and it's a perfect fit on the waist, perfect length on me, I'm five foot six. Um, and yeah, it just feels really lovely, beautiful quality. I am very impressed with this one. You're back on the candle again. <laughs> um, I was literally just about to finish off this video and then there was a knock on the door and a fairly heavy box has just arrived that says on it, I don't know who it's from, but it says, um, what does it say? I feel like it said like press package or something. Samples, oh, press pack, bottle, hat, towel. So I don't know who it's from or, yeah, but I thought I would get into it and open it up before I finish off the video. I look really far away. Is that better? I don't know why. I've, maybe I've got it on a zoom out. Yeah, that's better. Um, so yeah, I thought I would quickly open it before I finish off the video and see what's in here. But I feel like... and rosé. Oh my gosh, look at me. I look ridiculous with my roll neck and my hat on. Um, two bottles of, now I don't know how to pronounce this, but minuti, minuti, minuti. Please correct me if you know how to pronounce it but two bottles of beautiful looking pale rosé. My friend is actually coming around for, um, for dinner this evening. So perfect timing, absolutely perfect timing. And then a cute little towel as well. Wow, what a lovely little surprise package. And a little bag that is absolutely covered in straw, well not straw, but whatever the packaging bits are. So I won't look at that, but this looks delicious. Oh, I think I'm, I'm gonna go for this bottle this evening. 
what perfect time i'm going to put this pop this in the fridge and finish off the video here um so i hope the I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, and hopefully I'll see you again in my next video.